Hello everybody, my name is Elliot Newton, I'm the Biodiversity Officer for Kingston Council and welcome to the next episode of Reading Nature. And these are sessions that run with the library service to tell you about the incredible wildlife and green spaces that Kingston has to offer and encourage you to come out and explore and learn more about the amazing wildlife that we have right on our doorstep. And today we've got a very special episode. We're hidden away in a small little nature reserve at Tolworth Court Farm and we're about to tell you about one of the most incredible species that I think we have in the borough and they're not a big species but they make a big difference and these are our yellow meadow ants and you can see around me you're surrounded by all these incredible structures and these are yellow meadow ant hills and this is the best example of them in the whole borough and some of these can be over a hundred years old even hundreds of years old and if you look at these these are actually incredible feats of engineering so all this soil has been excavated from underground so that means underground underground my feet right now is a series of chambers and catacombs and tunnels um, which the ants obviously have constructed and and some of these some of these chambers are where the ants farm and people might ask what what do ants farm and actually they go around and they they find small aphids and they, gra they grab those aphids and pull them underground and they attach them to the roots of all this grass. And then as they have all these bits of roots, absolutely aphids dangling off them. And then what the ants do, they use their uh, antennae and they massage the aphids as, they, as the aphids eat the roots or uh, get their food off the roots. And the aphids will then produce and secrete this very rich, sugar rich um, solution called honeydew and that is what the, uh, the ants are farming and that, pro that provides the food for the ants. And within here we've probably got about 40,000 ants each single one of these and these, all of them are ruled by, by one queen and a queen ant can live for about 24 years which I think is an incredible age for an ant to reach. But some people might wonder what, what in the UK eats our ants? If you went to South America, you'd have things like big giant anteaters. If you went to Africa, you'd get things like pangolins. But in the UK, our main anteater is a green woodpecker. And green woodpeckers will fly around here. And actually in the winter, which we're about to enter, well, ants will constitute about 80% of a woodpecker's diet. And they'll land on here, and they've got these incredibly long tongues, and they'll go and they'll pluck away, and they'll eat hundreds and hundreds of ants. And um, a really fascinating thing that I find about um, uh, ants, I think it's quite funny about, about woodpeckers and ants, is that when when the ant, when the woodpecker eats the ant, it can't actually digest the the ant, the ant heads. So when they when they poo on top of these ant mounds, you can actually find bits of uh, uh, woodpecker poo, and you can open it up, and all these ant heads fall out, which is always quite a fright, and also quite fun to show children. So they are a really amazing part of our natural heritage. These ants, and it's great to have this within the borough. Um, so yes, next time you see a mound like this, just think about incredible engineering and incredible sort of stories that probably unfold just beneath our feet.